Hey guys, what's going on? It's Bearvids here. Now in this video, I'm just going to explain to you how different amplifiers work in different modes. Stereo, bridge mono, and parallel mono. Now parallel mono you might not have heard of. I certainly hadn't heard of it until I got my crown amplifiers. So basically, this is your standard stereo amplifier. Got two separate mono amplifiers inside. Signal comes in, goes through, comes out the plus. Right, and then the minus doesn't do any work. The minus basically just goes to a ground. Okay? Same with the other one. The plus does all the work, the minus doesn't do any work, all it does is take the power and ground it, okay? Explanation of that, you've got the plus pushing and pulling, yeah? You think about it, the cone of a speaker goes up and down, push, pull, push, pull, right? The plus does all of that, pushes and pulls, making it go up and down, the minus just grounds, okay? So that is your basic stereo amplifier. Bridge mono, which is this one. What happens is the two amplifiers are used together, okay? So the signal goes in the first amplifier, it is then duplicated so that it is identical on the second amplifier. The second amplifier is then flipped over, so that in effect, whilst the first amplifier pushes through the plus, the second amplifier pulls through the plus. Now in this way, this plus becomes positive and this plus becomes negative, which is why when you're using bridge bridgeable amplifiers, you'll find that when you bridge them, you actually connect the terminals of the speaker to the both positive ones, and you don't connect anything to the negatives, because they don't go anywhere, they just go to the ground, okay? So what happens in effect is while this one pushes, this one pulls, and they work as a team, basically, providing double the output, because instead of just one pushing and pulling, they both push and pull at opposite times, creating double the power, as you can see here. Whilst one pushes, the other one pulls. Whilst one pulls, the other one pushes. Like that, okay? So it basically creates double the output. The only problem with this is these have to be identical, identical, okay? Now, it's the same story with parallel mono, okay? Except it's slightly different and you get a lot more flexibility of how you want to wire your speakers. Same thing, input signal gets duplicated into the second amplifier, but the two amps are kept the same, they're not flipped, none of them are flipped. The first signal goes out the plus positive as usual, Negative goes to the ground, and the second amplifier, the positive, is then paralleled to the first positive. So in effect, both amplifiers, you've paralleled both amplifiers together. So they're both pushing and pulling at the same time. Now this doesn't actually create any more power if you're using the same load. So, for example, supposing you were using a 4 ohm load on one amplifier, just on its own stereo wise, so forgetting this one, 4 ohm load, you're creating 200 watts RMS for example. Do this, you're still creating 200 watts RMS at 4 ohms. However, if your amp is only 4 ohm stable, and it's bridge, and it's parallel mono, okay, you can run it at 2 ohms, which means you get double the power. Because there's two amplifiers running in parallel, you means you can half the ohm load, the, the, you know, the, the least ohm load that it can take. So, for example, my um, my crown amplifiers are two ohm stable on each side, okay. And when you uh, parallel mono them, then you I can run one ohm, which means I get double the power. So I get the same RMS power from parallel mono as bridge mono. I should get slightly more from parallel mono. It just gives you more flexibility in wiring. So if you want to wire to one ohm, you can. Or if you want to wire to eight ohms, you can. Four ohms. It just gives you more flexibility. Here you go. See here. Whilst one pushes, the other one pushes, pulls, pushes, pulls, pushes, pulls, giving you like double the amperage basically. So it means it can push up more amps basically. And the, the, uh, the only use one negative, you don't use this other second negative, you only use one negative. So that is basically how, uh, how stereo amps, bridgeable amps, and Paolo mono amps work, and the advantage of having a Paolo mono amp. You don't see many amps with this feature, um, basically because it takes a while, they have to properly, properly balance each amp so that it's identical. If the amps aren't balanced, right, and one starts pushing and pulling at a slightly different, um, you know, different phase to the other, then the amps will try, try and power each other, and you'll get nasty bangs and smells and smoke and everything, okay? So both amps have got to be identical signal, identical everything, which is why not a lot of amps have it, because it does take a while to get right. Okay, so there you go. Hopefully that's uh, given some insight into parallel mono amplifiers and also just giving you a bit of insight if you didn't know how bridgeable, how bridgeable amps worked. Okay, so there you go. Bevids out.